Beloved, I greet you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Today's message is entitled, Beware of False Prophets. Beware of False Prophets. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. That does not come to you void, but accomplishes its purpose. Father, as we delve into your word, let the Holy Spirit guard and guard us in everything that we do. And Father God, lead us as your word goes forth into the world, all over the world to bring souls into your kingdom. Father God, we thank you for such a time as this. A time that you, in your mercy and grace, has given to us, as unworthy as we are, to go out there and preach your word. Father God, Thank you for enabling us by your spirit to say yes, yes, to the, this great commission. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Beware of false prophets. Beloved, what is a false prophet? A false prophet is a person who spreads false teachings or messages whilst claiming to speak the word of God. In the Bible, false prophets also spoke on behalf of false gods. False prophets function in their prophetic role illegit illegitimately, illegitimately for the purpose of deception. The Bible denounces false prophets for leading people astray. The first sign of a false prophet is prophetic inaccuracy. Rather than speak the word of the Lord, they deliver messages that originate in their hearts and minds. In Jeremiah 23, 16, and Jeremiah 14, 14, the Lord God Almighty says, do not listen to what the false prophets are prophesying to you. They fill you with false hopes. They speak visions from their own minds, not from the mouth of the Lord. God distances himself from all false prophets. He says, I did not send them. Yet they have run their message. I did not speak to them. Yet they have prophesied. False prophets are motivated by self-interest and a desire to be popular among the people. 1 Kings 22, verse 13 to 14. Beloved, this popularity that we are talking about here, uh, in a, a few weeks ago, a pastor or a prophet came out preaching, he came out that he has been to heaven for one hour, 45 minutes. And he was urging his congregation to fast. And during that 30 days fasting, they could have the same encounter. Where he got his information from, nobody knows. Now the Lord is 
telling us, me and you, to be uh, uh, to beware of people like that. They want to be popular. They want to be accepted by the masses. So they go out there saying what the Lord has not asked them to say. Why Jeremiah foretold the grim truth of the coming desolation upon Jerusalem, the false prophet promised peace. Naturally, the people of Judah pre preferred the pleasant messages of the false prophets. Don't tell us what is right, they say. Tell us nice things. Tell us lies. Can you imagine, beloved? Often, false prophets were hired for payment or spoke their messages for financial gains. We can read about that from Micah, Micah 3, verse 11. Nehemiah 6, verse 12 to 13. Beloved, anybody who charges you money for prophecy or prayer is in error. Beloved, mark this. Anybody who prophesies to you or pray for you for money is in error. Because a man of God is supposed to help you to depend on God and not on his greed by extracting money from you. A lot of pastors extract money from their congregation by giving false prophecies and by prosperity gospel. All they say, oh, you be rich. If you give me 500 pound, uh, pounds, you will get uh, five, uh, uh, 5,000 pounds, that's what they say. Uh, and some of them, I remember I was watching this um, something on YouTube, a preacher, and this lady whose husband was ill with uh, cancer came forward to be prayed for. And then they said, uh, one of the prophets in there said to me, oh, your name is so and so. And the Lord is telling me that if you pay $300,000, your husband will be all right. Beloved, a poor woman, and he, is, he had to pay this five for $300 because he wanted his husband to live. The husband died anyway. So this is all the works of the false prophet. Beloved, Jesus Christ warns in Matthew 7, verse 15 to 20, to beware of these false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really vicious wolf. You can identify them by their fruit. That is by the way they act. Can you pick grapes? from torn bushes or figs from thistles. A good tree produces good fruits and a bad tree produces bad fruits. A good tree can't produce bad fruits and a bad tree can produce good fruit. So every tree that does not produce fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Yes, yes. Also, you can identify false prophets by their actions. Amen. Beloved, Israel could not distinguish between a true and a false prophet. In 1 Kings 22, 12 to 27, King Jehoshaphat of Judah sought counsel of the Lord before he and King Ahab of Israel embarked on their mission to retake the city of Ramoth Gilead. Jehoshaphat heard the predictions of victory from Ahab's 400 
counselors or prophets, but suspected that these men were false prophets who did not have the mind of the Lord. Jehoshaphat's suspicions were correct. They were Ahab's yes men, false prophets who had no concern for relating the true word of God. They merely said what the king wanted them to hear and collected their salaries from the royal treasury. King Jehoshaphat asked if there, there was another prophet who could give a second opinion. King Ahab called for the prophet Micaiah, reluctantly though. He said, I hate him. Ahab complained because he never prophesies anything good about me, but always bad. True to form, Micaiah prophesied that Ahab will be killed in the battle and Israel will be scattered on the hills like sheep without a shepherd. Micaiah's words came to pass and made those 400 for false prophets, liars. Neither them or their false prophecies could keep the king alive. Beloved, I have a confession to me. I have been in, I have followed these pro prosperity preachers and false prophets going into their so called crusades and hiring buses to take me and my friends to their crusades. I paid my tithes to them and followed them everywhere until I got tired and decided to pray on my own. In searching for the truth, I've been everywhere. And I thank God for the encounter with Pillar of Christ and Prophet Kanu. One of the dangers of listening to false prophets is diversion. By listening to false prophets, we are diverted of our right and true course. Timothy 1 verse 5 to 7. And I read, Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of faith on, on faith, from which some, having swerved, have turned aside unto vain jangling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say nor where of the affair. Beloved, when does a sheep end up wrecking? A sheep ends up wrecking when it has lost its course. Yes, when it has been diverted. This is what Satan wants from us, to be diverted. I pray that we stay focused and on course to shame the devil. The result of individuals who are diverted from the faith. As Paul writes to the church of Rome, is, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, by their own belly and by good works and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. And in Acts 20, verse 28 to 30, Paul warns the elders of the church of Ephesus, take it therefore unto yourself and to all, all the flock over which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to feed the church of God which he had purchased with his own blood. 
false teachers desire to draw people away and divide the church and conquer it through division. Those who teach a different gospel are accursed. Galatians 1, verse 6 to 9. I marvel that he has so soon removed from him. I called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, let them be cursed, as we said before. So I say now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that he have received, let him be a curse. Damnation is a certain result of being or believing false gospel. The Bible describes false prophets as dangerous, treacherous, drunkards, wicked, liars, and associated with divination and which Beloved, be diligent in faith and devotion to Christ's teaching so that you will be able to spot false prophets quickly. Thank God for his true prophet, Prophet Kanu, by his mercy and grace, whom, whom he has provided for his church by his mercy and grace. Yes. And we thank God for pillar of Christ because this is the true church that the Lord God Almighty has given us this end time. And we thank God Almighty for his prophet, his true prophet that he has given to us this end time. So, beloved, in your busy schedule, try and go on your phone or mobile or internet and look for Pillar of Christ and listen to some of the um, some of the videos and things that is on them. Listen to Prophet Kanew. And know the prophet, uh, the false prophets. Run and save your souls, beloved. I say, run to God's true church, pillar of Christ, and save your soul from damnation. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen, beloved. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word that has awakened us to our own vulnerability. Father God, as we go our separate ways, let the Holy Spirit minister unto us. Let the Holy Spirit lead us, guard us, guard us to your true words and to your true church and to your true prophet so that we will save our souls from damnation this end time. Father God, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. We thank you for who you are. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen.